Omni Lucid Presents. everyone welcome to omni lucid presents and today we are going to be playing uh yggdrasil so we're going to be this is going to be the third video i've done so this is going to be the playthrough video so if you're uh watching this one uh hopefully you already watched the review and the rules or just a review or maybe you just want to see the playthrough either way thanks for coming and uh checking it out um already did all those other things in the other videos so i'm gonna basically hop right in um as i said in those this is yggdrasil uh by z-man games and uh it's a fun quick well fairly quick uh, little game and uh i'm gonna dive right into it and see how i do so far i have yet to win this game um, maybe it'll happen today, but I'm not too confident that that will happen. So let's see how it goes. All right. So, uh, first things first, I get to take my three actions. Uh, so I am, uh, and as you guys can see, I am playing tier. Uh, he basically, what he gets to do is anytime I roll a dice, I get to roll it, uh, two times and I get to keep whichever result that I like. Um, so we'll see how he does. All right, so my first three actions. Uh, so I guess always a good idea is go ahead and start moving those Valkyries. So I'm going to move them onto the white. I get to take three out, hopefully get some warriors to help me here. Uh, one, two, three. I got one. Not the best, but it is what it is. Uh, so... Valkyrie, or I'm sorry, that would go there. Um, next, I will get, I think I'll get one of these uh, elves to potentially help a roll in the future. Um, and last but not least, uh, I am going to... Oh, I don't know where I want to go next. Uh, I think I'm going to go up here and move the um, the other god there up to the Valkyrie for now. Okay, so that is my turn. First up is Loki. So Loki moves one. Uh, he does. All right, so he's got one. So he brings out some trolls. Not good for me. Uh, they give Jormungandr a plus one to his defense um, so definitely gonna have to uh, start worrying about them pretty quickly here uh, but next up we'll move all these actually maybe I won't use those those kind of just take up a lot of time to do um, so first thing I'm gonna move those Valkyries again try and get some more warriors one, two three ah, only one more um, this time I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go try and fight the um, uh, troll there or the uh, uh, I keep calling them the, the trolls it's the giants actually the frost giants uh, you need a three to beat them I'm gonna spend one warrior for this roll I'll roll it up here oh zero mainly because I get tier so this is my tier oh Okay, so that was a big swing and a miss because I the only reason I got two rolls was because of Tyr's ability. Um, he goes into there. Um, so final action. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and move five of these warriors into a bag. I am going to put them into that green bag since that's where I'm going to be going next. Make sure... I get them, and those are my three actions. So next, Fenrir. Okay, not a good one for sure. So for him, uh, I have to roll. So one of my three actions is I have to calm him down with either a white, basically anything but the black. And got it. So, but however, that does take up one of my actions to do. I'm gonna move there. Go for my warriors again for my second action still managed to get a fire giant um and oof 
Again, I'm gonna. I gotta try and get rid of that frost giant. Um. So this time I'm. I feel like I can get this. I'm hoping I can. I'm. I'm only gonna commit one again, because with tier I get that double roll. So we'll see. Another zero. And a one. So I will spend the elf, which lets me add one to that. Um. So I do defeat that frost giant. So get that out of the way. And next, back to here, uh, we got Cert. He is going. Uh, where's he at? Up there. Uh, Cert, I roll, and he puts one fire giant in whichever bag I roll. So black. So an extra fire giant is going into the black bag. All right, my turn again. Uh, let's. Still submerged, so um, I can't get any Vikings there. So I'm going to try and get some from the green where I'm already at. Hopefully, got two more. Definitely a good thing. Uh, next, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get a weapon. I want to keep. I'm going to get the weapon that fights Loki. I don't remember what that is, but he he is definitely one to keep knocked back so whenever you go there you do get to search you don't just draw off the top you get to search for specifically what you want uh, and this is uh, looks like Hofund I actually don't know what that weapon is uh, I'll have to look that up for um, Norse mythology and see what that is so that is my first weapon I'll keep those over there uh, so that was my second action next I'm gonna try and knock Loki back. Um, oh boy, that could. He's got five, so I'm gonna commit three Vikings to this attack. So there's one, because a tier I get to roll again, and a zero. So one, three, but I also have that, so that does give me my five, so I get to knock Loki back one. All right, Fenrir again, not good. He is going to, once again, steal one of my actions. And I calmed him down right out of the gate, so that's a good thing. Um, still got to try and get some more. Oh, I got to put those guys in there. Um, that was already two, one action, so I only get two more. So I'm going to use one to try and get some more warriors. One, two, three. Got two more. And next action. I gotta try and knock Fenrir back, because otherwise he's gonna hurt me. I gotta commit all three. I need to get at least a two. So one. Come on, two. And a one. So I did not get enough. That was a waste of them. Unfortunately. Ugh, and another Loki. All right, with Britain, which brings out another frost giant. He does not let me do any. Uh, let's see, what is that? Any actions? I'm sorry, I actually have to look this one up because I forgot what if that's no actions or I can't go to certain places. Um, let's see, the ice giants. Um, so it cancels all the gods' power, so I only get one roll. Um, so that could be worse, I suppose. Uh, first action, I am going to go here and get five more of these back in the green bag. Then I'm going to go shake that up a little bit. So I'm not cheating. Hopefully, get three more. All right, all Vikings on that one. So that was two. Um, I only get one roll on this, so I need to. Yeah, I got. I gotta spend it. I got. So I'm spending all three to take out the giant. I guess I don't even really have to roll. Take out that next frost giant. Okay. Jormungandr is up next. So he moves one and he pulls another one forward. Uh, I'll. Sp 
Let's pour, or I'm sorry, that's not Jormungandr, that's Neathog. Uh, I'm gonna pull Jormungandr forward with his ability, cause his ability pulls whoever is furthest back forward one. It doesn't activate their ability, it just moves them. Um, because there were, it was still Hell and uh, Jormungandr back there, I just choose which one. Uh, and I do apologize if you guys are hearing any of the extra noise in the background. Um, the little one is up there hanging out with mom and grandma, and he is uh, playing around, and they're playing with him. So uh, if you guys happen to hear any of that in the background, that is what it is. Um, okay, so Nidhogg just went. My turn again. Uh, we're going to once again, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put five of those in there. Hopefully get three back. Uh, one, two, ah, dang it, fire giant. Okay, so that was one, two actions to do that. Uh, I am gonna, you know what, I'm gonna go and get Fenrir's weapon here. Because uh, I gotta start getting him knocked back. So that's Glepnir, which is the chains that they use to hold Fenrir in mythology, Norse mythology. Um, so that was my three turns, unfortunately. So hopefully not a Fenrir. All right, and it's not. Uh, however, it is Jormungandr, so he moves forward one more. Also, it moves my Valkyries all the way back to the start, and I roll the die to see which uh, section gets submerged. Uh, and it is green. Okay, so kind of stinks, but uh, could have been worse. Uh, it actually opens up the black uh, island there for me, which has more viking souls in there for me to go and get and help me fight um but we'll see what happens so uh first we're gonna move there gotta keep moving them valkyries back over to get me some help however there's the most fire giants in here so the least chance of getting viking oh and i got two okay so this is mostly probably fire giants now but either way that was a great uh, great grab for me um next up oh uh, what do i want to do next I am going, uh, you know what, next I'm going to fight Fenrir, I'm going to put three Vikings to the fighting Fenrir action, just need to get one, which I got, I'll roll it again just for the heck of it, because of Tears action, alright, that was enough, um, be, with my, with the card, so I get to knock Fenrir back one. And for my second, or third action, I should say, uh, I'm going to move the Vanir god up one more. So the Aesir and the Vanir are the two different Norse gods. Uh, the Aesir are more of like the uh, gods of the sky and the cosmos and all that, whereas the Vanir are the gods of the earth. Um, which is why he looks like this cool little uh, like tree stump looking, I don't know, kind of maybe if you're... If you're into the mythology and kind of like a uh, ent or something, but uh, that is why he looks like that because he is a god of the earth. All right, that was my third turn. Cert is up next. He moves up again. We roll one. He puts another fire giant into the black bag. Oops, that one was falling out of there. All right, not the worst thing in the world. However, they are getting closer and closer to those gates. Um, once again, gonna move those Valkyries. Always got to keep getting, uh, keep getting that Viking help to take these guys on. Oh, two fire giants. So I only get one Viking to help me this time. So that's my first action. Uh, se second action. I am gonna get the weapon to fight Jormungandr, which is Mjolnir. Pretty sure everybody knows Mjolnir is. Thor's hammer. Why that is Jormungandr's um, weapon to fight him is because uh, Thor and Jormungandr have basically a lifelong battle to the death. Um, so that is why that is his. And lastly, we are going to roll. I guess I'm committing both Vikings to this um, to try and knock Jormungandr back one. So I need to get a a two for this to matter, and hopefully I'll get it. There's my two, so good. definitely got them. We'll roll just to see what have been a zero. Otherwise, if it wasn't, uh, well, with tier. Um, but that was enough. We knock Jormungandr back. And sorry if I'm talking too fast. I'm trying to make this um, so it's not a super long video 
for you guys. Uh, we'll see where it ends up. This game can take a while if you actually make the whole way. Again, another reason why I'm talking fast and moving fast. Uh, all right, so I got that, got that, and okay. Their turn, Hell gets to go finally. So a bunch of them moving up. Uh, I forgot what hers is. Uh, oh, yes, so you roll the dice and however many whatever one I get so the white now I search the white bag for a Viking soul and that goes back into uh, hell into her domain actually so that is what she does all right next up um, well I'm gonna move this but because that's submerged I cannot look for souls there I don't have any other Vikings, so now's a good chance for me to, uh, what do I want to do? So I got two more actions. I'm not really going to be able to fight any of these other guy or any of these other baddies, so I'm going to get an elf, um, and one more action. I'm going to move, ooh. yeah. I'm going to move the Vanier up more because once I get him up to one more spot, I can, as an action, instead of moving him, I can take the action and automatically knock one of these gods, uh, one of these uh, baddies back one. Um, all right, so their turn. Ooh, hell goes again. She's getting up there blue, so i got to take a Viking soul out of the blue bag. All right, so lots of souls in, in uh, hell there. All right, my turn once again. Finally, moving those Valkyries up to the black bag, which has tons of Viking souls. So hopefully I can manage to get three. Mix those up a little more. Uh, three. Oh, and I still managed to pull one of the fire giants um, because Cirque threw an extra two in there. All right, so that's my first action. Um, my second action, I am going to move that Vanier God up one. And uh, third action, boy. I th think I'm. Oh, I'm gonna let them go for now. I'm gonna get. I don't know who I dislike more, Hell or Cert. Probably Hell. So we'll take her weapon. Let's see what was hers. Hers is drop near, which is kind of a weird. Not sure why that her that is her weapon. Dropnir in Norse mythology is a ring, a golden ring that um, the dwarves made uh, during their competition. And Dropnir basically creates another one of itself. Uh, or actually, I think it might be nine other. I think it replicates itself. Replicate every night, it replicates itself. So instead of one gold ring, now you have two, and then four, and then it just keeps going, going. Basically, it's never-ending money for the gods. Um, but I'm not sure why that fights hell. Maybe just because they wanted another Norse thing. Um, okay, so that was my third action. Oh, that's not good. So, hell moves up. She is now into that second row, which is bad for me. White, so she now pulls two Viking souls out of this bag, if they're in here. Uh, which they are. All right. She also is now takes six to knock her back. Um, my Valkyries are luckily there though, so we are going to first action try and get some more Viking souls. Three, God, still got that fire giant. Just not having a good luck with that. All right, so that's my first action. Second, I I have to knock Hell back, so I'm going to have to take the advanced version of Draupnir. So, again, you get to pick whichever one you want. So now I have the plus one, so I can go in here, I can trade that and upgrade it for the plus two version of the ring. Um, and I'm just going to set that off to the side because there's no reason that I will need that anymore. Uh, if there were more players in the game, then somebody else could get the plus one while I have the plus two and we could both use it. Uh, but since it's just me playing solo, that that is no longer in use. I can't lose uh, my level of what I have, um, so that's not a big deal. Um, okay, so I got a two. She's at six. Uh, I'm gonna commit three Vikings to this to try and knock her back. It means I only need a one to do it. There's a one, roll again just for the heck of it. Oh, there's the three. Ugh, okay, but that's fine. I, I needed to knock her and get her back out of that, that area. So, 
three Viking souls go down to hell. I'm going to have to start moving those guys over soon. And it is their turn. Fenrir moves back up. Not good for me. Um, so, first action is to calm him down. I did it. However, it does, once again, waste one of my actions to do that. So, not, never a good thing. Um, always got to uh, go for the... Go for the Viking Souls to try and... I don't want to mix these up because I keep getting stupid fire giants. Alright. Go for the Viking Souls. Is that... I still managed to get one. Jeez. Okay. Um, so, that's my first action. Second action, I have to fight Fenrir because if he gets up another one, he's going to get harder to calm down. I only have the plus one for him. However, he only takes five. Uh, I'm going to try and do this with only two, because if not, I do have the elves to back me up. Uh, let's see if I can get that three again. It would be awesome. Oh, zero. Not good. Okay, there's the one, which stinks, because now I do have to spend my elf, but still knocks him back one. So ultimately, it gets us what we need. All right, next up, Needhog is moving forward. Oh, and he's pulling someone else with him. I'm going to move Jormungandr. All right, once again, shake these guys up. One, two, three. Once again, I got one of the stinking fire giants. Um, who do I want to knock back? Probably. Um, Jormungand doesn't matter where he's at. Hell and Cert both do. I already have Hell's. Thing. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my Vanier action to automatically move one of them back. Uh, I'm going to move... Actually, oh, you know what? Actually, hang on. I'm going to do something first. So I'm going to fight Hell first. I'm going to fight her with two Vikings. Two Viking souls. A miss... And I'm, oh, so that was a waste. I lose them, even with my plus two. It wasn't enough because she has a five. Now I'm going to spend him to move her back for free. Well, not for really for free, for that action. All right. And Needhog, not good for me. He moves up. He moves all of them for one, which would probably be hell, I guess, because they're all there. Uh, so now he's up there a ways, which isn't good for me either. Um go for this again. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> stop getting these stupid fire giants. Yeah, let's see. Oh, sorry. I pulled four. One, two, three. All right. So there we go. Three Vikings. So that's good. Um, I don't, oh, I didn't start getting Needhog stuff yet though. So I'm going to have to, have to get his, which his is Gungnir, which is Odin's spear. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could see why that would be. It's Odin's spear. Um, all right, and then I'm going to fight Needhog and try and knock him back again. Uh, so he is at a six plus one. Oh, I don't have any elves to help me if I screw this up. If I'm going to commit three, I might as well commit four because I just got to make sure I do this. Alright, so I just need one. If I don't get that, that's gonna... Oh, man. Hmm. There it is. Whew. Okay. <laughs> so Needhog gets knocked back one. Their turn again. Fenrir is moving up. Alright, so I just have to calm him. I got the black, but I do get to do Tears Roll still with that as well. There we go. That calms him down. All right, now, now I'm in some trouble here, I think. Um, I'm going to do this action and throw some souls back into the black bag. That's my first action. Second action is I'm going to draw for some Viking souls to help me. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Yep, good thing I didn't look because I did grab four. Ah, I still got a fire giant. Alright, um, so who'd I have here? I think I'm going to knock Fenrir back, or attempt to knock Fenrir back. I have a plus one on him, 
So I'm playing three. Well, I paid two, which means I got... So I need a two, at least, to knock him back one. Oh, that was a three, and it rolled. There we go. Got it. Okay, so I lose them, but I do keep Fenrir knocked back out of space. Loki moving again. He gets another Frost Giant coming my way, which gives Fenrir a plus one. Not a good thing for me, so we're definitely going to want to try and get rid of that. First up, try and get some more Viking Souls. One, two, three. Ah, another freaking giant. So that's my first action. Uh, second action is going to be... Oh, man, i got to keep Loki back, though. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to take Loki's weapon. He's he's my main concern pretty much at all times. So we'll keep Loki not... Or take his weapon. And I'm going to fight Loki with those two Vikings' help. Just need a one. I got the two, so that does it. Push him back one. That is my third action. On to Cert. Cert now crossing that threshold. So now he is going to put two more Fire Giants into the white bag. Alright. Could be worse, but hey. Alright, I go there. Try and get some more Viking help. Viking souls help, I should say. One, two, and of course another fire giant. Um, I'm gonna commit those two for my third action to fight the troll. Or the fro I keep saying troll. Frost giant. These are frost giants, people. So there's the one that I needed that takes him out. All right. So the other good thing is that if I keep taking on frost giants, I'll hopefully eventually get their uh, their little bonuses. Uh, if I do get those, I will definitely have to look at the book because I do not remember what they are. And the board, unfortunately, doesn't have any reminders. So that's one you definitely need the rule book to look up. Uh, okay. Bad guys again. Ah, there goes Loki again. Just got rid of his frost giant, bringing another one at me. Uh, that means that I cannot go to... Uh-oh, that's not good. So while that frost giant is there, I cannot get any more Viking help. So that stinks. That's a that's a tough one. Okay. Um, so since I can't do that, I am going to get some help from the elves. Uh, then I will try and take on this frost giant and take him out. There's a one. Hopefully, I need at least a two, uh, preferably that three. All right, a one. So I didn't get him, uh, which is pointless for me to try and use the elf since it won't work. Um, and then my final action. Uh, I think I am going to... Let's see. Took an elf, fought them. I really don't like Loki being there, but I don't think I can get him back any other way. So I'm just going to move the Vanir... All right, hopefully not another Loki. Not Loki, okay, hell. But that's not good either because she is now going to do her action times two. So she takes two Viking souls out of the blue bag. There's one. And uh, there's two. Okay, so that was hard to find, which means there's not a lot in there. Hell is filled up with Viking souls. And because that frost giant is still there, I still cannot do anything about it. So I'm going to take the other elf for my first action, fight that frost giant for my second. There's one. I need a two. Didn't get the two. Okay, so I did get the one. I'm going to spend both of those elves to make that a three and get rid of that dude. All right. Um, and then my third action. All right, I can use my third action. To try and get some more souls here. Got two and a fire giant. Baddie's turn. Cert is moving up another one. It's gonna give me some two more fire giants into the white bag. Things gotta be pretty full now, which whenever I go there is not gonna help me much, but that's okay. Um, all right, I gotta start trying to knock these guys back. Uh, yeah. Just try and draw, see what I can get. One, two, three. Oh, two fire giants. Okay, so I must be getting lower. I just had a bad draw. Uh, and 
I do not have Sirt's weapon to try and knock him back. So that was my first action. Second action, I'm going to move the Vanir up. Third action, I am going to... F uh, ooh. Fighting Sirt might not be the best idea. I am going to fight Hell. Try and knock her back into that first round there. So there it is. That'll do it. The other issue is because if I want to keep, if I get more than five of these past this point, I automatically lose. So I got to keep them back. All right, next one. Fenrir is moving up again. He's just going to steal my action pretty much. Of course, I always roll those blacks. Oh my god. All right, so that's my first action. I rolled three the black twice, and that doesn't work for him. So now I have to spend a second action black. There we go. So spent two actions to calm Fenrir down. That hurts me a lot. I am going to... Oh. Not sure what I want to do here. Yeah, I gotta try and get some more of those Vikings. So one, two, three... Yep, one fire giant. All right, that's my whole turn because Fenrir stole all my stuff. Jormungandr, taking my Viking or my Valkyries all the way back. I forgot I got rid of that guy, so that can come off. Um, and then the new sunken island will be the blue. Okay, it's actually not bad because the green and black are the ones I want to get to. All right, so first things first, move those Valkyries up. See if I can maybe get something. I don't even know if there's any. Vikings left in here. Those are all fire giants, so that didn't do me anything. Um, next up, what do I have for... I don't have Yorm... Or yes, I do. So I get plus one against Yormagander. Um, I am going to... I'm going to knock Loki back, is what I want to do. So, I'm going to spend two... I have to, so I just need a one to knock Loki back one more. There it is. He goes back one. Viking souls go away. And I have one more action. I think I'm going to move that Vanier up to try and get him onto that autumn auto pushback because that might save my butt. Good thing I picked Loki. He was up next. He's going to bring out another Frost Giant who makes hell have a plus one. Angraboda is the Frost Giant. I forgot that they actually have names. So Angraboda is, um, uh, let's see, is that Loki? That's Loki's wife, if I remember right. Uh, who else did I have? So Thok. I'm not sure who that Frost Giant is. Utgard Loki. He's actually a really cool character. I definitely would suggest reading about that. He puts uh, Thor, Loki, uh, and a and a human through some trials that are uh, pretty cool. It's one of my one of the stories I like a lot. Girod, I do not know, and Skrmir. I know that name. I do not recall the story though. So that's kind of cool too. Again, if you know Norse mythology, it's cool to see the actual characters. Um, all right, except I'm losing focus here. So first thing, I want to move my Valkyries, which they're on the sunken island, so they can't do anything there. S uh, second action, uh, I am going to move my Vanir up one more. And third action, uh, I am going to put some of these Viking souls, one, two, three, four, five, into the green bag so it'll be nice and easy to get them on my next turn or should be um all right next to, oh loki again so that's not good now loki is harder to do and he is going to pull out two uh more frost giants all right so by Diazi and Girmir. Girmir lets me not go to what location is that? B okay. Ah, oh, that one sucks. So I can't use my Vanir. I don't know what that is that I can't re-roll or I'm not sure what that means. What that has across the dice. Oh. 
Vikings, weapons, and elven forces, I don't even get to roll the dice, so I definitely have to get rid of that dude. Um, all right. Well, luckily, first up, move those Valkyrie there. So I need one, two, three. So I got three Vikings. Um, luckily, that's enough. That's all I need. I'm going to spend those three to instantly get rid of that dude because that is... That's insane. I don't even get to roll. Um, and then third action. I mean, Loki's already in there, so... Uh, actually, I don't even know if I could... I actually... There's no way for me to even push him back at this point. So uh, third action, I am going to take an elf. Oh, my God. Another Loki. Okay, this is where it's going downhill fast. Two more Frost Giants come out. Cert gets a plus one. And... What is that? And the Frost Giants are now a, instead of a three, they are a four. So they got harder to take out. All right, so first, uh, yeah, move up to the black. One, two, three, and oh my gosh, two Fire Giants. That was horrible. I still can't use my Vanir, which really stinks, unless I get rid of that guy. So that was my, so let's do second action, take another elf. Third action is to fight this frost giant and get him out of there. Because I got to worry about getting Loki back. Um, so they have, a, they have a four now instead of a three. There's a three. Okay, that does it. Oh, whoops. I meant to do, well, you know what? I didn't do it, so won't retcon anything. I will spend an elf to make that three a four. And that gets rid yeah, I'm going to get rid of him as my first action. Uh, so this goes away. And that was my, that was my third action to do that. All right. Jormungandr up next, moves the Valkyries all the way back. New sunken island. Green is now sunken. All right, my turn again. Uh, first thing I'm going to do... Hmm, oh, actually, first thing I'm going to do is move those Valkyries up. So I don't think there's even any souls in here for me to grab. One, two, yeah, all fire giants. So that's my first action. Second action, I am going to... Oh, if I move that Vanir up, though, that can instantly take out a giant... I think I'm better off spending that and knocking Loki back one. So that's my second action. Um, third action, I'm going to try and take out that other Frost Giants, giving them the extra bonus. So I'm spending one Viking towards it. If I can get that three again. There we go. All right. Takes him out. All right. So I'm taking Frost Giants down left and right. So that's definitely helpful. All right, their turn. Needhog is moving forward. Oh, and I just lost because his action has me pull whoever is furthest behind up one. Doesn't matter because they're both there. So uh, either Fenrir or Hell. I'm going to give it to Fenrir because Hell is kind of annoying. Um, and if you read the Norse mythology, Fenrir really gets a bum rap. So we're going to. We're going to go ahead and let him pull up. But now I do have five baddies past that point, which means I automatically lose. Um, I was way more than halfway through the deck. So that was actually going very well for me. I'll come back up here. Uh, yeah, so that was going very well for me. But there you go. One bad move. I wasn't paying attention to uh, to that fact. I wasn't thinking about Needhog uh, and that he could do that. Um, but yeah, what... As you saw, once Loki got up there and started pulling those Frost Giants, it uh, really pulled my attention away. Couldn't get any more Viking souls there, but um, there you go. So that was the playthrough of Yggdrasil. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, as I was saying, through the game, I really like all the mythology that's in there, especially if you know it, uh, and the fact that all they have the names of all the Frost Giants there. Uh, they have the names of all the weapons. Uh, all the, pretty much all the big bads are there for you to take on and keep them out of, uh, keep them from getting into, um, Asgard. 
Um, but yeah, it's a it's a fun game. It is a co-op, so it shouldn't be easy. This is, I don't even know how many games I've played, and I still haven't won. Um, less than 10, but more than 5. <laughs> and so far, I have still not won. That was probably one of the closer attempts, though. I was, I would, that was definitely more than half, maybe even, uh, I would say maybe two-thirds through the deck. Um... So yeah, there you go. That was Yggdrasil. Let me know what you guys thought. Um, as always, you know, we love the Viking stuff at uh, Omni Lucid with us making Drakkar. We have some other Viking games uh, in mind that we plan to uh, bring out uh, after Drakkar or maybe before. It all depends. We'll see how everything works out. Um, but yeah, let, let me know if uh, what you thought about Yggdrasil. Uh, if you have a favorite uh, Norse mythology or story or anything. Um, if you know the story on, let's see, what was that? Hofund. I do not know what Hofund is. I, I, it's not, I'm pretty sure that's not Baldur's sword that he gives up, but maybe it is. His dancing sword that operates on its own, basically. If you happen to know, let me know uh, in the comments. Uh, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things. Help us out as best you can. But uh, until next time, I hope you guys are all having a great one. And uh, see you then. Bye.